What's up? Welcome to my channel. It's your girl Trista here and in today's video we're gonna be doing an angel last minute Halloween look. I picked the angel this year because I really, I don't know, I'm just inspired by being an angel. I feel like Kylie Jenner was an angel one year and like Victoria's Secret angel. I don't know, I just really wanted to be an angel this year for some reason. I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial in this video. I'm also gonna do my hair with it and I also want to show you guys an outfit and like how I put it all together and hopefully you guys get inspired by this to do an angel look yourself. So let's get into the tutorial. I'm gonna start off with makeup and go on from there. So the first thing I want to do is moisturize my skin. I'm using the Estee Lauder Day Wear Multi Protection Antioxidant 24 Hour Moisture Cream. I just got this a couple days ago and I'm really in love with it. It has cucumber um, scent. It smells amazing and it really does lock in all the moisture. So I'm gonna put that on right now. Okay, so now that I'm all moisturized and ready to go, I'm going to be doing my foundation. Kind of just doing my makeup um, exactly how I usually do it. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm using this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. Also just got this a couple days ago and I really like it. Estee Lauder goes off. I never knew that, but like I don't, I kind of don't like that this app bottle. So I'm just gonna do my makeup as I usually do. So now that I put on my foundation, I'm going to go straight into just doing my normal makeup, kind of just doing all that stuff because we're going to do like an intricate, not an intricate eye, we're going to do like kind of like a fun angel eye if you ask me. So I think I'm going to just do like concealer and just finish up my makeup, my base. Oh, for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in this color, in the color Light Medium Sand. Oh, concealer on my eyes because I feel like we need to have them all the same color and stuff like that. So what's next for me? I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade 3.5 and I'm also going to be using this um, pomade make from the makeup studio. So I'm using this too. I, okay, funny story. I went to Ulta this week. Okay, so I go in there and then this man, he's like helping me out with my products and stuff. He's like, okay, like what are you, what are you looking for? And I'm like, oh, I'm looking for a foundation. And he helped me like get my Estee Lauder stuff. And I was like, okay, whatever. I never really use Estee Lauder. So I was like, okay. And I was like, yeah, like, I don't know. We were just talking and he was saying, yeah, I do. I'm a makeup artist. I don't know what. And he was just like, oh my, okay, well, what do you recommend that I wear, I get from Ulta, whatever? He's like, oh, you know, I don't even work here. I was like, what? You don't work here? He had like an all black outfit. He's like, yeah, like, I I get paid to um, come to the stores. I don't know. He said something around the lines like that, like along the lines like that. So I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, I have my own makeup line. He gave me this pomade for free. Like he just like took it out of his purse or in his bag, sorry, <laughs> his bag or whatever and he gave it to me for free. I want you to try it out and tag me. I'm using it for a couple days and I honestly really like it. I've never had a like a dip brow or something like that, like a brow pomade before. And I like it, it actually like makes it really easy to define my, my wing here. So I'm gonna use that today and yeah, I'm gonna use the shade medium brown. Pretty cool. Weird story, but yeah, he was the one that recommended me like this Estee Lauder foundation and the Estee Lauder cream, which I really, really like. And sorry if you hear people in the background, it's okay. I'm gonna do my eyebrows with this and I'm gonna do it with this. And also I like to top it off with my Gimme Brow bent from Benefit. Um, it's a little like brow gel. For me, the eyebrows are really important and I've been really trying to define them a lot better and I feel like it's, I'm finally at a place where my eyebrows are really good. I'm gonna show you a picture of how my eyebrows used to look in high school. Oh my God, I was botched. like. My friends make fun of me. This one friend, John, if you're watching this, John, hey, what's up? Um, he would always, we would always just die of laughter like looking at this picture. And every time we see each other, we talk about it. And he has me, like, I think that's my contact picture. Whenever I call him or whatever, it comes up. It comes up. It's so funny. It's so bad. But yeah, I was botched, guys. Like, I went to like a nail salon and I would just get my eyebrows done. But now I go to the benefit counter at Ulta and 
Shout out to my girl there. Can I show my viewers your shoes? Yes. First of all, let's just let's just appreciate my mom's shoes. Okay. Wow, where'd you get these? These Steve are Madden, baby. Steve Madden. Mm -hmm. Okay, kill it. And then let me just look at your full outfit, girl. <gasps> wow. You're I'm missing my makeup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Still look good. Alright. Okay, bye. Okay, so now that my house is quiet, I can actually talk louder. So yeah, basically I was botched. I have been getting feedback on my videos and people are saying that I don't I don't show enough in my vlogs. And you're right, I haven't because I I don't know. I love to do concept based videos and but yeah, you're right. I think I want to get I'm getting I'm trying to get more into vlogging, so I'm going to do that, guys. I'm going to show you guys a lot more and not make it so much of like a production. It's just going to be my life when I vlog. And yeah, so I'm gonna do that more. And I love the I love the feedback I've been getting. But if you guys have feedback, please let me know in the comments because I will not know if the the people who give me feedback are like my my aunts, my uncles, and like just people in my family. And if you guys comment that, it would just make my life so much easier so I can know what I'm doing and what you guys want to see because I really want to cater to my audience. Yeah, I'm going to try to show more and be... It's because sometimes I'm like, okay, it's, it's too much showing, but no, it really... I need to show more. So I'm a vlogger. Let's just... Okay, so anyways, I'm just uh, like kind of like shaping my eyebrows. I like like to like start from the top line and just go down. And actually, like I like to define this wing a lot more. And I'm going to do little strokes up on my eyebrows. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at my eyebrows, to be honest. Now that I've kind of got like the shape down, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the pomade to like really, to make it a little bit more dark, because I like my eyebrows kind of dark. So I'm gonna do that on the bottom of it. Oh yeah, that looks so good. I'm only gonna do my wing, because I'm like kind of like, and I've only dipped it in a little bit, which it is actually so much easier than a pencil. I'm also using this um, eyebrow pencil by Elf. It's really good. I just got it the other day when I went to Ulta. You know, when you go to Ulta, you're really asking for it, to be, to be honest. I should probably just like work there or something. Almost done with my brows. I'm just gonna do a, a light coat of this Gimme Brow eyebrow pencil. I mean, eyebrow pencil, eyebrow gel. I like a good defined brow. So I'm gonna be using this Jaclyn Hill palette. I've had it for a long time, but I'm gonna be using just like a transition color. So I'm gonna dip into, it's called Silk Cream. So I'm gonna dip into that Silk Cream and do like a transition shade on my crease. I think I'm gonna go in with this White Peach palette. I bought it like a long time ago and I didn't like it, but it has this really, really pretty um, as you can see here, this like peach color. What's it called? No, it's called. It's like an icy peachy color. I love it. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna use that on my inner corner instead. That's the only thing I don't like about this palette. It like has so much fallout. Okay, so um, I'm gonna start doing the the angel wings that I've been wanting to do for so long. I have a, an assortment of things that I want to try. So first off, I'm gonna try this. I have like this uh, sole, it's a eyeliner. It's a white eyeliner. You can get any white eyeliner. This one I'm using is LA Girl and it was pretty cheap. And then I actually went to the Halloween store and I got like this little like palette thing and it's called a black and white makeup. It's like for skulls. I got it at Spirit Halloween. So here's a little like palette I have here. It's just like a black and white like marker and I was trying to use it to see which one is better and I really can't tell. And I also got a gel, gel white liner to do the angel wings. So I'm gonna try a lot of like different types and see which one's better for you guys so you won't have to be like. So if you go to the Halloween store and get like your little angel wings and stuff like that, you can just get this little thing or if you just have white eye eyeliner laying around at home. So what I'm gonna be doing is like an angel wing. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, this is why I like this look. I got inspired by an Instagram post. I'm gonna put it right here. Try to find it. Or a YouTube video. I don't know where I got this idea from, but I wanted to try it myself. It's a very easy look. That's why I wanted to do this. This is kind of just like a messy, feathery look. So that's why I kind of like got inspired by the idea to just do like kind of messy feathers on my eye. And I feel like it looks really, really cute in like not in the beginning. Like you kind of are gonna be like, ew, this is kind of gross. That's me. That's what happened to me in the beginning. Once you kind of get into it, it actually starts looking really, really cool. There is no technique to this. It's just seeing like just putting lines on it and like, kind of just leaving in yourself to be honest and hopefully it works out because at first it kind of looks bad but then it looks really really good so I'm just gonna do a bunch of lines and 
hopefully and wish for the best kind of just I'm moving my lines to my eyebrow like and I'm not making it any farther than that. And yeah, it's gonna look kind of messy, but it is what it is at this point. And it honestly looks really, really pretty when put together once you like got everything. You got a little bit more glitter and everything like that. So I'm just gonna like continue to like make messy lines and hopefully it doesn't look very, hopefully it doesn't look like crap. So I'm doing the lines here. I think it looks really, really cute. Like. Honestly, like I didn't like it at first, but I think it looks really really good. First time I did it, I did like um, a white eyeliner and I don't think it really worked out that well. So just kind of like start from like the middle of your eye and lightly brushing little lines on your face and it looks like a wing. Like it really does look like a cute little wing. So I got kind of like the wings done. They're kind of messy and I did like an eyeliner around my eye. So I like it. I think it's very, it's messy, but I, it's gonna look really good once you put like lashes on or you put on some mascara. And then I'm going to finish like off like this part of my eye by Too Faced, by this palette, the white peach palette. Now I'm gonna put in some crystals. Like, I don't know, just put them anywhere, like kind of like going off like the euphoria look that I did, but like with smaller crystals. Um, I'm just gonna put them like wherever I feel like they would look nice like there's really no really I don't really have an idea I just like got them and I was like hey that would look really cute So I'm like gonna try to like put them like wherever I feel would look pretty Okay, so I just put on a bunch of crystals like I just put them wherever I felt like they would look really cute You can put more you can put less. Um, I don't know. I might put more but I'm gonna finish my whole makeup I'm gonna be doing my bronzer, my um, my lipstick, and hopefully once if I see that I want to put some more crystals on, I'm gonna do that for sure. So I'm gonna finish that really quick. I'm using the NARS Orgasm and Laguna palette or a little like duo thing I have here, and I really like it a lot. Like I'm ha I'm happy I got the duo. I'm just gonna put some bronzer on and. I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This is the Milani Most Wanted Lashes. This is probably my favorite drugstore mascara. It's really, really good. I highly recommend it. I'm finally done with my makeup. I think it looks very simple, easy, and you kind of get the idea of being an angel. And I did my lipstick. The last thing I'm using is this lipstick from Milani. It's called Pretty Natural shade 43 so next step I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be doing my hair I'm going to be wanding my hair with the t3 world trio I'm so excited about it if you guys follow me on Instagram I have been putting a bunch of stories about this new product that I've been using for my hair I'm super excited about it and today I'm going to be using the I think one inch barrel it's like straight barrel so we can get some really defined curls so if you want to see that, then keep on watching. Now it's time for hair. I'm very excited to share with you guys one of my favorite, my new favorite product, this T3 wand. It is so awesome. It's an interchangeable wand. I got the World Trio. It's bomb, guys. Like, let me show you what it has. This isn't an ad, by the way. I was gifted this, but honestly, this is the coolest gift I probably could have ever received by a, by a company. And it is called the T3 World Trio. And it comes with three different types of wands you can use so this one is the big wand this one it will like like this is like the most minimalistic curl you'll probably get this is a one and a half inch barrel and I love this on an everyday basis so I feel like my hair does not look good and it's just straight sometimes and I need a really nice curl and this is like perfect for that like it's an everyday loose wave this one is really amazing and then it also comes with a like kind of like a regular one where we're kind of all used to you're gonna get the curl like defined at the bottom so it's kind of like a more of a tighter curl and then this one is a straight barrel it's a one inch barrel so your curls are going to be all the same guys I'm really excited about it I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I'm gonna curl my hair and what I use and how I do it because I learned on YouTube actually it also comes with a glove a heat protectant glove so just a little disclaimer here. So I'm gonna be using this wand. It is the kind of like in-betweener. Like it's not like a super curl, but it gets like a really nice curl. First things first, I'm gonna brush out this hair. It's really tangled right now. So I'm gonna start sectioning off my hair 
going to let me take off this glove really quick to look funny um i'm going to just do like maybe like two sections because i don't have that much hair like i really don't i honestly should have just done my makeup at the window and it looks way better wow i'm upset <laughs> I don't want to do the whole video again. The makeup part, I'm so sorry if you guys didn't see, but it was very simple makeup, like nothing too crazy. But anyways, so we're doing hair now. I sectioned off my hair and I got my little wand. Okay, so now I have the box to see. So this one is like kind of an undone wave. So you're gonna get like kind of like in between, it's a one inch. So you're gonna get like kind of an undone waves and that's why I kind of feel like an angel would look. Very like put together, but not too put together. I learned this on YouTube and I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair with the wand because some people like really don't know how. Basically what I do is I grab a piece of my hair with, this is my left hand. You have the wand on your right hand and the left hand here. So sometimes I will bring my hand up here like this and then I will just twist it on. So it can be a lot easier. Wait a couple seconds. And then... Curled baby, boom. You got the little wave going on. So you can do it like that or even like vice versa, like left hand, you know, get a little section like this, ready to go, go like this, because left, if you're doing it left-handed, it's super hard. Like you know you're not dominant in it, and then wait a couple seconds, boom, curled. Like it's so, that really helped me a lot, that technique, doing it like above your head, because I think you're resting your hand on your head and it just makes it so much easier. But yeah, usually just like, Go, go around and just grab a piece of my hair and I'm like pretty fast at it now like I can do it and honestly like if you change up the direction of your curl it looks way better because if you have the same direction the whole time you're it's gonna look too like uniformed and you don't really want that when you want like a nice little beach wave or like a undone wave because these are gonna be a little bit tighter than the bigger barrel but they look really, really good and like kind of like mermaid. Like everyone wants mermaid hair. Let's just be honest. Everyone wanted to be Ariel. Look at this. It looks so pretty. Like that looks like mermaid hair. I love this thing. Like I love that you can have different options. And this is like a perfect um, birthday gift or like even a Christmas gift to like a significant other or just like your mom. Like this is a great gift for anyone and it does come like it comes with different types of attachments so you don't just have to get like it's not just like one wand it literally is interchangeable see like the the lock and unlock so you can literally just like unlock any clips you have you want so i have like like i said i have like the big barrel and then the little one the tousled wave one but this one i really like i really wanted to try this one today because i've never had like a straight barrel and if you don't like the wand you can get clips if you're like a curling iron girl like you can get the clip ones and like have the same little like attachment thing and it comes with like a five heat setting so you can like have it at a four you can have it at a three like right now i have it at a four and it's making my curls like so fast this video is low-key kind of a mess okay so when you're doing the, the top of your hair you want to like have the curls going outwards especially the the first two parts so this part i want to do it like going this way so i'm going to change the direction and do the same thing i showed you guys in the beginning like put your head hand here and then you're gonna just do it that way like i think it's much easier when you like have this technique down because then you know what direction you're going Now that my curls are all done, oh my god, I think they're so pretty. Like, oh, I forgot this one. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna use some dry shampoo just to like have my hair nice and not oily. And then I'm going to spray a little bit of hairspray, just like a little down. A little bit, because my hair does fall. I don't. And then I'm gonna just always do this. Every time I curl my hair, I mess it up a little bit, make it a little bit more bigger. Now we got like these very messy, tousled waves. I think it looks so much better and natural and I don't know, I'm obsessed with it. So I'm gonna put on my outfit and I'm gonna show you guys 
how I look like as an angel. So get ready for that. Before I put it on, I just want to show you guys like some of the accessories. Like I got this halo from Spirit Halloween. Literally just like one of those stores that um, like it comes once a year and there's Spirit Halloween. I think there's like another one, but yeah, I went got it from Spirit Halloween. Then I got these feathery angel wings. They are so pretty. Like I literally want to keep these for like next year or like just, I don't know, I love them, like they're really pretty. And then I'm just gonna be wearing like a white romper that I wore for like my graduation. And it, honestly, anything white will go with this. And I also got a wig, even though I did my hair, I still wanna try it on and like, I got a white wig and then I got some, I had these like forever since I graduated high school, these Steve Madden, um, like really thick heels. So I'm gonna put it on and show you guys the finished look. Oh my god, guys, I am an angel. I didn't think it was gonna look this good, but I think I outdid myself. I haven't dressed up for Halloween in like three years. So this is like my first like actual like getting into the holiday spirit, if you will. Okay, so this is my outfit. So bomb, like, oh, the shoes? Like, go off, sis. I'm falling. Like, literally, I don't know how to dress up. Okay, this is just so cute. Like, I literally, I don't know how I'm going to show you all of it, but like, oh, like, wow. And that's because I didn't even, like, buy the costume or anything. This is more of an adultish look. Not an adultish, but, like, you're going to, like, a party and a Halloween party and you want to look pretty, but you also want to look sexy in a way. I think I'm, I'm happy about it because I'm like, okay, I'm not creative at all, but... With this, I think I, I, I fucking did it. Yeah, we're done. We're an angel. And these wings, oh, they just look so cute. Oh, I love it. I think it looks really cute. And it's very easy to be put together. And basically, this is it. This is the look. I put on some gold, I mean, not gold jewelry. Some silver, like, jewelry to, like, tie in to the look. I feel like it just makes it look more put together if you put some jewelry in it. I got like this cross bracelet. It's fitting. We're angels here. We're looking really cute. And I feel like if you want to like go full force, I would put more highlighter. I would like put some body glow. I don't have that right now, but I would if I was going to a party or something like that. So this is basically the look guys. I'm really excited about it. I'm happy about it. I also bought a wig, so I'm gonna try that on and show you guys. If you guys don't really wanna do your hair, you can just like do a white wig. So this is the look with the wig on. I think it looks really cute. If you don't wanna do your hair, just like literally pop on a wig. It's super easy. I did my hair for nothing basically. I think I like this better than actually doing my hair, but I don't know. With the hair, without the hair, up to you. <laughs> Either way, guys, I'm probably not gonna go anywhere for Halloween. This is like my only chance to like wear like a Halloween outfit and I am digging it. I'm digging it, I look cool, it's whatever. No one can tell me that I don't look cool, okay? I'm an angel. I'm an angel princess baby. I'm glad you guys watched this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I know it's a little last minute. Literally, the title is last minute Halloween costumes and your girl is last minute as well. So, okay guys, <laughs> hope you guys like this video. Love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.